So I've set this up very carefully. There is a tape line under there for hand cutting this curve. There's masked off places where I don't want the crumb to touch because it's the worst. I've hinged it. I've lined it up to the body line with windows, those little things, and I'm just about to start. All right, so since chrome is so difficult, I was careful to set it up. See, I fold the paper back a little bit there. You always use firm, long strokes. You don't, uh, you don't use a squeegee with chew marks in it. <laughs> um, see how I put some tape at the top there? And I line it up, make sure that it's not walking on me. Sometimes a long decal will do that on you. It'll fall a little bit or something and then it'll be crooked. Uh, I put that paper underneath it there just to keep it from having that extra stuff stick on the top because that chrome leaves this really difficult to remove residue. I don't like it. Um, sort of like a tuck and trim there. Snap my blade, make sure it's nice and sharp. If you're going to trim on a truck, especially through chrome, you have to have a sharp blade and you have to know how deep to cut. Yeah, and then you always run a finger over your cut line there. I'm running a nail, so I have a nice clear line to run my blade. I'm even like having a little piece of tape there to help it keep straight at the beginning. And then I do it in one smooth motion. I try my hardest to make all the cut at once because then you won't have any wobbles or starts and stops. Um, I didn't cut quite deep enough by the looks of it. So I had to do a couple spots, but you always want to cut too late as opposed to too, de too deep. Making sure it doesn't lift or anything. As soon as you lift that chrome, it's going to leave a residue and you can't lay it back down because you can see that there's an imperfection in it. Um, yeah, and seal your edges. Cut both sides of that thing because it's not going to hug the curves. So you have that middle stripe come out that I pulled on. Um, now I'm putting glue remover on it. Yeah, I'm showing you how that, that line there is that chrome residue comes off the clear coat. It's It's got to be removed with glue remover. It's, it's a pain. Seal all my edges, take all the extra glue off, make sure there's no tags, see me in the and trim a nice straight line at the door edge there. Ta -da!